All right, in this tutorial, we are going to open existing data, and I am going to show you how to run frequency distributions, and then how to take the output from the output window and easily copy and paste that into Microsoft Word so that you can open it wherever you're at um, and have it in uh, easy access for you. All right, so what I have opened now is I've just opened SPSS. Um, I have an, a data set that I've already been working on, but I'm going to open up uh, the general social survey. So I'm going to go to uh, this little icon, which is the little folder icon that can open it. You can also go to File and Open, um, and then select Data. Both work. Um, and here I'm going to have to go in and find the right data. Um, so let me scroll through and data sets and let's choose the GSS 2008 subset. So that's what I'm going to select and it's going to take a few seconds and there it is. Alright so that opened up. Um, it also opened up this output window and I'm going to just minimize the output window for now. Um, but here we are in data view. So I'm going to switch over because right now it's just a bunch of numbers. Uh, I'm going to switch over to variable view. And you can see that this is a uh, subset of the general social survey. It only has 15 variables in it, um, but they are taken from the general social survey 2008. I just made it smaller so that it would be easier to work on um, as a class. So I have all of my labels here. I have my values. You can see that everything is kind of already set up. So now let's say I want to do a frequency distribution for SIBs. Um, SIBs is the variable, you can expand that out so you can see the whole variable. Um, how many brothers and sisters did you have? Please count those born alive but no longer living. And so I'm going to run a frequency distribution. So now the place where I'm going to go for all of my data analysis is to the, up here, um, I'm going to go to analyze. So I'm always going to go to analyze. Um, that's where I'm going to start for all of my different analyses. I'm going to go to Analyze, and then I'm going to choose Descriptive Statistics, which makes sense as a frequency distribution is Descriptive Statistics. And I'm going to choose Frequencies, and I'm just going to click that open. And so here is what you're going to have. You have this uh, dialog box that opens up. Over here on the left, you have all of your variables, and they're giving you the labels. I prefer to work with the names rather than the labels. So what you can do is you can right click um, in that box and click on display variable names and then it will show you all the names. You can also display them alphabetically. If you note here you can sort by uh, alphabetically um, and that will allow you, if you know exactly which variables you're looking for, it will allow you to kind of put those together. So I don't need to sort them alphabetically because there's not that many, but I'm going to click on SIBs and I have a couple options. I can just click on it. Oh, I can't drag. Sorry. Yes, I can drag it over or I can use this arrow down here, whichever is easier for you. I tend to use the arrow. That's what I remember. Um, so I'm going to click that over and that's all I need to do. Once I've got that variable in here, um, I'm going to click OK. If I'm wanting to run frequency distributions for multiple variables, I can also click on the other variables at the same time and put them in the box as well, just depending on what I'm needing at that time. So I'm going to click OK, and then what you'll notice is that my output window popped back up. And so this is my output. And so if I scroll down, um, this is what, the, what I did when I opened. So this was my get file. Um, and then you can see I've got frequencies. Um, and so it's telling you where I'm pulling those frequencies from. It's telling you where the data is coming from. And then I have the statistics. So here it's telling me how many cases are included and then how many cases are missing. So how many respondents total do I have? I have 892. The reason I'm missing so many is because I purposely um, selected out people to make the data set smaller. Um, because when I first created this, uh, the student version of SPSS wouldn't run data sets with over a thousand uh, people. So anyway, if I scroll down even further, here is my frequency distribution. Here's the money shot, right? So here are my categories, my answer categories. Here are my frequencies. Here are my percents, my valid percents, and then my cumulative percent. 
Now the big thing here is the difference between the percent and the valid percent. You'll see that those are quite different. And the big difference is that the percent includes our missing, whereas the valid does not include the missing in the equation. So percent's calculated by taking the frequency and dividing by the total. And so for the percent, you're taking that frequency of 40 and you're dividing it by this total down here, the 3,559. But for the valid percent, you're taking the 40 and dividing it by 892. You're just dividing it by the total number of actual responses. So when you're interpreting a frequency distribution from SPSS, you want to interpret the valid percent, not the percent, um, because we're not going to include the system missing. So now that you have this, say you're not ready to interpret it right now. Um, you're not ready to print it out and be done. So you want to maybe be able to look at it at home or on your laptop or even pull it up on your iPad. What you're going to want to do is you want to copy and paste it into a Word document, which I know most of you copy and paste into Word documents all the time. But there is a secret to making it fit easily on the page. So I'm going to just right click and I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to open Word. I probably should have had that open before I started the tutorial, but we're going to open it up. And when I paste, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do something called Paste Special. I'm going to paste it in as a picture rather than pasting it in as um, the document or what it is. All right, so my Word opened. Um, I'm going to X that out. Maybe. There it is. It's on my other screen, you can't see it. So I'm going to paste special and paste it as a picture, which will allow me to format it to fit on the page. So I am going to, in here, I'm going to go to edit and paste special. So normally I would just do um, command V or control V if you're on a PC and it would go in there. Um, and this is what it would look like. Maybe. Yep, there it goes. Spinning wheel. So that's what it looks like, right? So that's not too bad. Um, but if I do paste special, so edit, paste special, and I'm going to choose to paste it as a picture. So one, it's not going to let me mess it up. There's no way that I can, can alter it. But it's also going to force it to fit on one page. So let me expand this so that you can see it a little bit um, more clearly. So let's look at them side by side. So on the regular paste, it's a table. I can go in and edit it. I can take out this column if I want. On the other side, the picture, I can't mess with it. But what I can do is I can expand it to easily fit the page or I can make it smaller to fit the page. So I like the paste special to make things fit nice and neat on the page. Also, sometimes you'll have a table that is wider than it is tall. And in that case, I'm going to change the layout of my page, going to layout, and I'm going to orient this as landscape. So it's going to go the other way. So I'm going to have more space on the sides than I do top to bottom. In this case, it doesn't matter, um, but that's how you would um, easily copy and paste your output into a Word document. So now I can save this and I'll have it there whenever I need it um, and I can access it from anywhere rather than just on computers with SPSS. Alright, so that's your tutor tutorial on doing frequency distributions and copying and pasting from SPSS.